Okay, I'm going to show how to flash a SBF file on a Droid 2, Droid 2 Global, or the R2-D2 using RSD Lite. First you want to download RSD Lite. You can use 5.6, 5.7, just a couple other versions that will be fine. You want to download Motorola drivers, and you want to download the SBF file. SBF files for mobile droids can be found at sbf.droid.developers or dash developers.org and at uh, 1kds.tk has many SBF files. Some of these links actually go back to, uh, to uh, SBF droid developers. Normally, uh, Motorola drivers will install when you uh, connect your phone with the USB cable to your PC, but sometimes they do not install, and I recommend installing the drivers before you connect your phone to the, your PC and, uh, for, for you flash your SBL file. Um, you can download this Motorola and user's driver installation for that. that 5.4.0 zip. If you download that and unzip it, you'll get uh, these two files, 32-bit uh, and 64-bit. 32-bit uh, works on most PCs. If you know you have a 64-bit, you can double-click on that um, and it will install. Uh, this should say that uh, I already have it installed or I have a better version installed. Downloaded your RSD Lite. Go ahead and uh, click on the file and install it. Um, you'll get an icon. It looks like this. This. If you uh, go to properties, compatibility. Run this as administrator. Click apply. Okay. Click on it. Um, you get a pop-up if you're on Windows 7. Ask me if you want to allow it to make changes to the computer. Click yes. And, uh, this is what it looks like. You have this running. Uh, you need to find your SBF file. So it's important to remember where you last, uh, where you uh, downloaded it to. Um, this is it here. And, uh, you can leave it zipped. I usually unzip it. Um, it um, go faster that way. Okay, so this gives you your information about your SBF file you're going to flash. I'm going to be flashing on a Droid 2. That's what I have. Now we need to connect our phone to the PC, and the phone needs to be in bootloader mode. And to do that, you slide down the keyboard, press the up button, and the power button, and uh, hold the up button until you see bootloader. Um, it says, now before you do this, it's, uh, it's a really good idea to charge the battery completely before you flash your SBF. Um, you do not want it to fail in the middle of flashing. Um, it'll, uh, the phone will not want to charge when it's in that kind of condition. And uh, you could also break your, your phone permanently. Not likely that would happen, but you will have 
difficulties trying to charge the phone. You'll have to get, find another way to do that. Um, okay, so now we can connect our USB cable. USB data cable. And now it has changed. It shows that it is connected to USB. And on our RSD light program, it has changed to show that it is connected to phone. This is, this is Flash OMAP 3630. Now, if it does not say that it didn't connect, it most likely is a driver's issue. And if you you should um, go to your start menu and uh, computer um, system properties um, you see here device manager. Go and click on device manager and we're looking for a Motorola USB device. That says it's connected. Um, if you see something like this unknown device, um, you should uh, uninstall it and then try to reinstall those drivers. You may have to uh, uninstall the previous drivers, but uh, usually just uninstalling that device and reinstalling drivers will do that. Uh, also helps if your PC is connected to the internet. Uh, so you can automatically download those, those uh, drivers. Okay, back to RSD Lite. It is connected. Um, so really the only thing we need to do is press the start button. And that will, uh, this will take over 20 minutes most of the time for most PCs. Okay, we're a couple minutes into the process, and if you see on the phone, you can't really read it, but it has changed to software to update in progress. Alright, you see it's uh, continuing to flash. Um, it's uh, executed 100% uh, uh, of the uh, this code group. So, verifying. Okay, now it just switched to uh, BP bypass. Um, sometimes, if your drivers were not installed correctly, that's where um, you'll have a problem, and uh, you'll have to reinstall drivers um, before you continue. Okay, um, the phone is going to reboot. Um, now it's a really good idea if um, before letting it reboot, go ahead and disconnect the cable um, and uh, pull the battery. And uh, put the battery back in. And then open the keyboard and uh, press the X and the power button. And uh, boot to uh, Android Recovery, and uh, wipe the ca cache. Um, yeah, more likely um, boot properly that way. Now, if that you um, you flashed a different version of Android or the firmware than it was on your phone, or you had. Uh, or there's a reason why you were boot looping because of uh, your mood of file or something. Um, you know, to enter, now uh, you see this screen here. Um, when you see this screen, you need to uh, press both volume buttons to enter the Android recovery. And uh, there we go. Um, you have four choices. Reboot, apply update, 
wipe data, wipe cache. Now, it's recommended that you uh, go ahead and wipe data. And when you wipe data, that'll also wipe the cache. But uh, if you uh, have data on there that you really want to try to keep, um, you can try to just wipe the cache um, and reboot. Um, I'm going to, going to go ahead and wipe data um, just to show you what it looks like. Um, but you can try to get away with just wiping the cache. Now, if you uh, if the phone boot loops after you do this, after you re try to reboot, um, you need to go back into Android Recovery and wipe the data. And that most likely will take care of the problem. Okay, so you scroll with the volume buttons and uh, select with the power. Now, with wiping data, it wants you to confirm that that's what you want to do. Go ahead and yes, delete all your user data. Press power, and um, this will take a couple of minutes. Okay, the cat, uh, data is finished wiping, formatting, and uh, it's formatting the cache. That will just take a, a few... Uh, seconds, about a minute or so. And now it's done. Data wipe is complete. Now, um, it's, um, it already has a reboot um, system now selected. Um, you just need to press the power button to, to confirm that. And the uh, phone should reboot normally. And um, you're done. successfully flashed a SPF on a Motorola Android. After wiping data, it may take um, a couple of minutes for the uh, phone to actually boot up. Uh, uh, thanks for watching the video.